Hello, our dear viewers and listeners. Welcome to TV High, the school on the air program of Tagum City National High School. This is your teacher host, Teacher Yvette Antoinette D. Villarosa. Are you excited for our fun learning today? That's great! Today, you will be learning about growth and development, a lesson particularly in the health component of Grade 7 MAPE, Quarter 1, Lesson 1. Before we begin, I would like you to get your module, your notebook, and your writing pen. Remember to listen carefully and be comfortably seated at the comfort of your homes. Now that you are ready, let me give to you our teacher broadcaster from Tagum City National High School, Teacher Chem. Good day, Grade 7 students. How are you today? I hope that you're fine in this time of pandemic. Despite the situation, we hope that you continue to learn as you work on your modules in your home. And we are so grateful that we are able to reach and teach you through our TV High. Are you now ready to learn something new today? Great! Now listen closely. Towards the end of our episode, you will be able to explain the dimensions of holistic health and recognize changes in different aspects of growth that normally happen during adolescence years. Make sure you have your module, pen, and paper with you. Before we proceed to our discussion, I would like to ask you some questions. What have you noticed about your physical features? How about the way you deal with others? Have you noticed a shift on your mood? All these questions will be somehow answered as we go along with our discussion. Are you ready? Let's begin. We will begin by unlocking some important terms in this lesson. Let us start with the word growth. Growth is the act or process or a manner of growth. Let us move on to the next term which is development. Development is the act or process of developing or progress. And lastly, the term health. Health is a state of complete physical, mental or intellectual, emotional, social, moral, spiritual, and environmental well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Now that we have unlocked the important terms, it is now the time to discover more about growth and development. Listen thoroughly and list down all the important informations you may get from the discussion. Are you ready? Let's begin. Nowadays, health focuses on wellness. It is a positive approach that includes physical, mental, emotional, social, moral, spiritual, and environmental health. To understand it better, let us define each dimension. Let us start with physical health. It means how well your body functions. It is a state of well-being when all internal and external body parts, organs, tissues, and cells can function properly as they are supposed to function. Next one is mental health. It is a state of well-being which an individual realizes his or her own abilities, can cope with normal stresses of life, can work productively, and can contribute to his or her community. Then we have social health. It refers to how well you get along with other people, how other people react, and how you interact with social institutions. The next one is emotional health. It involves understanding and liking yourself as well as accepting and learning from your mistakes. It refers to how well you meet the demands of daily life and how you adjust to new changes and situations. It also means expressing your happiness, love, joy, and hope, as well as your sadness, anger, stress, and fear in helpful and productive ways. Then we have moral spiritual. 
It means being at peace and in harmony with yourself, others, and in a higher power. It refers to the religion, principles, personal beliefs, values, and faith. Lastly, the environmental health. The understanding of the effect to ourselves of the air, the water, and the land that surrounds us. To recognize the impact of environmental and human-made hazards and the ability to find ways on how to protect ourselves and the ecological systems against these hazards are important. Those are the different dimensions of health. How are you there, dear students? Were you able to catch up all the key points? Nice work! In this part of the session, we will discuss more about development of adolescence. You may be experiencing changes in yourself. That is because you are now in the stage of your life which is what we call adolescence. Adolescence starts with puberty. It usually happens at the age of 10 or 11 for girls and 12 or 13 for boys. However, it is not true for everybody. Some adolescents experience puberty either ahead or later than the others. Some have their own growth spurts earlier and some later. Still, others may experience having pimples while others may not. The age when you experience puberty is influenced by heredity, nutrition, exercise, and other environmental factors. For the physical changes, the reproductive organs of both boys and girls grow and develop. The primary sex characteristics are those directly related to sex organs. Then, the secondary sex characteristics are changes not directly related to sexual reproduction. Some of the most significant parts of pubertal development involve distinctive physiological changes in a person's height, weight, body composition, and circulatory and respiratory systems which are largely influenced by hormonal activity. For example, with the voice, the voice becomes deeper, Adam's apple becomes bigger, Shoulder becomes wider than the hips. Hair grows on face, underarm, body, and pubic area. And skin on upper arm and thighs becomes rough. On the other hand, for the girls, breast developed, hip becomes wider than the shoulder, and hair grows on the underarm and a pubic area. The common changes for both boys and girls are as follows. Rapid increase in height and weight. The head, the hand and the feet grow faster first than arms and legs. Muscles rapidly develop. Body fats increases. Sudden increase in hormone production. Bones develop and become harder. And sweat and oil glands become more active. For the mental or intellectual changes, adolescents experience rapid mental development. Adolescents are egocentric. They argue to convince and exhibit independent critical thought. They prefer active and cooperative learning activities over passive activities. They enjoy learning skills to apply to real-life problems and situations. They tend to become bored with routine activities and they need to be challenged. They are capable of thinking critically, helping them understand issues and concerns about their development. They think less of themselves, allowing them to think and reason better. They have the skills in controlling and coordinating their thoughts with their actions. And adolescent students can focus their attention on two or more things at the same time. For the emotional changes, adolescents experience emotional changes as in their moody state such as feeling overly sensitive, 
looking for identity, feeling uncertain, peer pressure, conflicting thoughts, mood swings, feeling conscious about self, and getting sexual feelings. For the social changes, adolescents experience social changes in relationships with others. Personal social concerns dominate while academic become secondary. Social changes are particularly notable as adolescents become more autonomous from their parents, spend more time with their peers, and begin exploring romantic relationship and sexuality. For moral and spiritual changes, adolescents explore the moral and ethical issues. Oftentimes, they explore and ask unanswered questions about the meaning of life. They are reflective, introspective, and analytical about their thoughts and feelings. They depend on influences of home and religious institutions and moral and ethical choices and behavior. They try to find out who they really are and analyze their strengths and weaknesses resulting to understand themselves better and learn to accept and like themselves. Including their weaknesses, they learn that house rules imposed by their parents are there to promote order and harmony at home. They begin to distinguish between rules that are negotiable and non-negotiable. Non-negotiable rules like smoking are imposed because they are for their own good. Those are the changes that you adolescents may encounter as you grow and develop. But how will you deal with those changes that I have mentioned? Coping skills are needed. This will help you deal with emotional problems like being sad, facing difficulty, and stressful situations or experiences. If you have developed coping skills, you can prevent serious problems resulting from these experiences. There are two coping strategies that you adolescents may apply. One is support-seeking strategies. It is done by talking to a friend who can do something about it, seeking advice from a responsible family member or relatives, talking to someone to find out more about the problem, looking for someone who will sympathize with you, and may also seek professional help. And the second one is positive problem-solving strategies. Do not act hastily or quickly. Make a plan of action. Look at the problem as a challenge. Be creative in solving the problem and come up with different solutions to the problem. Those are some of the coping techniques which may help you to cope with the changes that you have experienced in your stage. If you want to be informed about your general health status, you may undergo a physical examination. I hope everything is clear to you, our dear students. Knowing all those changes will help you better understand yourselves. Now that we are done with our discussion, let us have a short activity. This activity will check on how well you practice healthy habits to achieve holistic health. Try to identify if the activities are related to physical health, mental health, emotional health, social health, environmental health, or moral spiritual health. I will be giving you 5 seconds to answer. Let us have first an example. Jogging around the park. What health dimension does it relate to? Correct! It is related to physical health. I think you are all set for the activity. Let us have number one. Eating a balanced diet. Correct! It is related to physical health. Number two. Planting trees and flowers. 
correct, it is related to environmental health. How about reading educational books? Nice one! It is related to mental health. Number four, listening to mood music. Correct! It is related to emotional health. And lastly, being honest all the time. Very good! It is related to moral spiritual health. Well done, students! I hope you had a great time listening to our discussion about growth and development. Now, let us have an assessment to measure what you have learned throughout the session. Are you all ready? Please prepare your quiz paper now and fill out all the important information. Do not forget to write your name and section. Also, write the episode number in your paper. MAPE Quarter 1, Episode 3 I hope you got the instructions correctly. This will serve as your quiz for today. Make sure to answer the questions honestly, okay? So I will be reading the questions and the choices twice. And I will give you 5 seconds to choose the correct answer. Are you ready? Let's start with question number 1. Which dimension is involved when you express your emotions in positive ways? Which dimension is involved when you express your emotions in positive ways? A. Mental B. Physical C. Emotional D. Moral Spiritual A. Mental B. Physical C. Emotional D. Moral Spiritual And the correct answer is Letter C. Emotional Question number 2 The following are ways to prevent unpleasant body odor due to active secretion of sweat glands except The following are ways to prevent unpleasant body odor due to active secretion of sweat glands except A. Change clothes more often B. Shave the hair of the armpit C. Take a bath regularly Or D. Use perfume to hide the odor A. Change the clothes more often B. Shave the hair of the armpit C. Take a bath regularly And letter D. Use perfume to hide the odor You got it right! The correct answer is letter D. Use perfume to hide the odor. Question number three. What tests will you undergo if you want to be informed about your general health status? What test will you undergo if you want to be informed about your general health status? A. Hearing test B. Dental examination C. Physical examination test or letter D. Vision test A. Hearing test B. Dental examination C. Physical examination test or D. Vision test You got it right! The correct answer is letter C. Physical examination test Question number 4 which of the following is not common physical change to adolescents? Which of the following is not common physical change to adolescents? A. Adam's apple becomes bigger. B. Rapid increase in height and weight. C. Sudden increase in hormone production. Or letter D. Sweat and oil glands become more active. A. Adam's apple becomes bigger. B. Rapid increase in height and weight C. Sudden increase in hormone production Or letter D. Sweat and oil glands becomes more active Correct! The answer is letter A. 
Adam's apple becomes bigger. Question number five. Why does lack of sleep affect the proper growth and development? Why does lack of sleep affect the growth and development? A. Body cells grow and repair more rapidly if the body is not moving. B. Body cells grow and repair themselves more rapidly during sleep. C. Body cells are active and repair themselves without sunlight. Or letter D. Body cells grow rapidly when the body is in horizontal position. A. Body cells grow and repair themselves more rapidly if the body is not moving. B. Body cells grow and repair themselves more rapidly during sleep. C. Body cells are active and repair themselves rapidly without sunlight. Or letter D. Body cells grow rapidly when the body is in horizontal position. Very good! The correct answer is letter B. Body cells grow and repair themselves more rapidly during sleep. And we're done! I hope that you have learned an interesting lesson from our discussion today. We assure you that no matter what challenges we are going through, still learning continues. This has been your teacher broadcaster, Teacher Chem. Keep safe everyone. Goodbye! Wow! A very interesting topic indeed. Thank you, Teacher Chem. Thank you for tuning in, our dear students and listeners. Hope you learned something today. Stay tuned for our next session here at TV High, the School on the Air program of Tagum City National High School. This is your teacher host, Teacher Yvette. Keep safe everyone. Have a great day ahead. Makisabay, matuto, maglakbay dito sa TV High.